Anyone wanting to produce hydrogen with no emissions and no external electricity could be said to have their head in the clouds. However, it might now be on the horizon. Nature found its own way to collect its sunlight and also convert its sunlight and water carbon dioxide into useful substance. So we want to learn from nature and want to mimic what nature does to convert it not so useful chemicals into useful chemicals, such as convert water into hydrogen as a fuel. This method is called artificial photosynthesis, and the semiconductor absorbs light much like a solar panel. We use the semiconductor devices to directly capture solar light and simultaneously at the same time we can generate hydrogen. We use the source of solar energy rather than use the source of fossil fuels to produce hydrogen. The conversion is very efficient when compared with other methods of storing solar energy for this purpose. The efficiency increases even more with the addition of a special catalyst. If there is a big mountain that we need to climb in order to produce hydrogen, what Calis does is it lowers the height of the mountain so we can climb the mountain in a much easier way. So in that way, we can speed up the process. Being constantly subjected to sunlight and salty water, the semiconductor needs protection so it can last longer and therefore be a more cost-effective solution. One of the things that we're trying to do to protect our semiconductors is using thin film metal oxide layers. These thin film metal oxide layers are deposited uniformly onto the surface of the semiconductor and they prevent the semiconductor from undergoing degradation and they increase the stability of the semiconductor in the system. This method of producing hydrogen is very water intensive but there is research ongoing to overcome this obstacle too. In the future, what we are hoping is we can only use the sunlight and wastewater to generate clean water and hydrogen as a fuel. Whether or not the team here achieve their goal, this sort of research points to a bright future and one where, for hydrogen, the sky really is the limit. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.